In another video, I talked about two plugins for Git integration. There are a few features I didn't cover there, and that will be the topic here. So let's go to a repo first. Uh, we can bring up one, one file. So you can see, uh, due to the plugin, you can already see there are a few changes here. So if you uh, type G and do tab, you can see those are all the git related related uh, mm, commands. And you can do git commit dash am blah blah blah. But there's uh, another usage here. If you just do git, it will bring up one window where you can view the changed files. So you can go, so you go to the button and if you press S, it will stage that file. If you do U, it will unstage that file. So this uh, sometimes comes handy. Uh, you can also bring up this uh, uh, window just by capital G. So this is uh, kind of nice and it's more useful if you have, uh, say, say you added a test file. So I added some files here. And also, let's say uh, the folder is not clean. So in this case, you can see there are untracked files. Let's say you only want to add one of them, uh, or a few of them. So normally, you will go here and say git add, and then you need to type their names. And uh, it might be inconvenient there, but uh, uh, it's very convenient to do it here, because you can just uh, search one of them, and then press A, that one will be added here. And you can do U to unstage it. So adding the uh, untracked file is quite useful with this window. OK, um, the next one is uh, uh, you can see there are changes here. So normally, I will just do GV split g v diff split to see the big change the, the overall changes um, but it is also possible to just go to one of them and then uh, do comma hp which will bring up a preview window, uh, a separate preview window, and you can see what's the change there. Um, this feature um, is useful if you want to uh, just uh, uh, see a small chunk of the changes, not the overall change. I actually don't use this one often. Uh, so the there are two related uh, uh, shortcuts uh, to this one. One is uh, um, comma hs, it will stage the current hunk. Another one is, uh, let me show you the other one. So let's say I added some change here, but I don't really want this change. So uh, it, suppose this is not the last change, it will be a pain to like uh, go back to the original change, uh, original code. But there is a shortcut uh, which is uh, comma h u which will un undo the current change comma h u yeah what happens here let's just try this again let me say i added some junk here and I want to do comma h u. Yeah, that will get rid of that change. This one is pretty useful. OK, that's about it. Hope this uh, is useful to you. Thanks for watching.